So Kayla and I, you know, figured out that the back heads are so worn out, um, and I'm not rebuilding these on the uh, shoe rests, uh, that the three inch um, shim package doesn't work for two and a half. So we wound up taking all the shims out, and then uh, we pressed two and a half with the shims in there, and it creased it really bad. So then we pressed two and a half, a little over a 90 degree here, and we got a little teeny tiny thing there, and then we went less than a 90 here, and we didn't get anything. And then I actually wound up scraping some debris off the backside here, which are still a little bit more. Um, and once we scraped the debris off and went less than a 90, it really did a clean bend on two and a half. So I'm gonna sus suspect two and a quarter and two inch and everything else should be perfectly fine. Um, but there's only so much adjustment I have left in this machine because it's, old and it's, it's probably 30 something years old and it's beyond worn out. I, mean, I even have new bronze in the front here and it still rocks, which means the shafts are worn out too. Um, but it still does a good job. But I'm happy that we actually got it dialed in better. Because um, two inch and two and a quarter have been perfectly fine with it all jacked up. Yeah. But once we got into the bigger bends, it was a, yeah, it was a mess. Two and a half and three inch, you can bend more than 30 degrees. Yeah. Degrees. And then he went with the four inch shoe uh, after we used the five inch shoe, which the five inch shoe is not quite as worn. Mm -hmm. Shoe, die, sorry. Five inch die and six inch dies and seven inch dies. These hardly get used. But Caleb went for this uh, five inch. And since this isn't, this isn't nowhere near as worn as the four inch, it definitely changed how it pressed yes, in the machine by that little, you know, little bit of a difference. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this thing's so worn out. But we're making it work. I'm actually afraid to even grease it now to change, mm -hmm. to, to change that slightest difference. So you're going to waste a little bit of your, your, your raw material just to get it close, but I'm happy with it. Well, Thanks for watching. less complaints on jobs, too. Yeah. So it, it's, yeah. It's, I've been cheating it for a while with... You know, doing 35s and 40s and, and 50s and staying away from bends, right 90s and 80s and all that stuff. But yeah, I'm happy it came out good. Thanks for watching.